Here's my monetization income since February. Hey, I think I'm done with YouTube. <laughs> this doesn't mean I'm completely quitting YouTube, but I'm going to take a long break from now. Well, I thought I was going to leave unannounced, knowing that I eventually gonna come back, but it's always nice to have a closure, right? And just to openly talk about what's going on with my life. If you would like to hear just the five mistakes I made as a YouTuber, you can jump to this point right here. Not that I have told everyone about this, but I recently have frozen my Screen Actors Guild membership, SAG membership, which means as of now, I am no longer pursue my acting career. It has been a long 15 years and I have finally told myself not to wait for another opportunity to come and financially wise, it's just not real realistic anymore. It's time to find a job, a real job. Why? Well, I thought YouTube should be able to give me a fair amount of income stream since I have been doing it for three years now, but the truth is that my content is constantly changing and YouTube just really hates about that. And with that said, I made many mistakes throughout the year of working as a YouTuber. I thought I'd share with you all so you don't make the same mistake as me. And trust yourself, you are good enough already in this competitive creative world. Now let's go on with the story. Choo -choo. Can't believe I'm actually doing this for the very last time. Mistake number one. Going full-time as a YouTuber from the beginning without a full-time job or a part-time job. If you're thinking about quitting your job to become a full-time YouTuber, it's almost like goodbye corporate world and here's acting. No, God! <laughs> it's not going to make you go anywhere. Okay, trust me. At least in the beginning. You'll be searching your niche, your audience, building your brand and awareness and even trying to find your voice is not very wise to throw yourself out there like me unless you got the money to burn. Mistake number two, changing subject on my channel, hurting the algorithm and giving a harder time for Google to rank in search. Well, this is controversial for many of the YouTubers out there. Some say you can come up with a few niches and work it with it in the beginning, but if you want a real advice, don't. I changed from mukbang to keto and keto mukbang to no more keto. And now I do food reviews in LA for a while. You might think it's almost along the same niche, but my target audience shifted quite a lot with this just mukbang to keto and to food reviews. Something I realized for quite a while now. Recently, a random stranger searched my channel name on YouTube. The first video pop up on my channel was actually how to make keto egg tart, followed by a uh, gal stones on keto. It's strange because I have been doing quite a while with the food reviews now, so this explains a lot that people still think I'm a keto lifestyle guru. <laughs> and when is it going to shift to the food reviews? I don't know, but I'm not doing it anymore, so whatever. <laughs> Mistake number three, burn money with Google ads to market my video to generate views. Yes, I did use Google ads. Is it a taboo though? Well, not really. Ranking in search using Google ads isn't a bad thing. Spending some money on marketing yourself, out marketing myself and selling myself as a brand sounds fair to me. So whoever told you that is a wrong idea, they might just want you to think it's hard to be a YouTuber. Although, how to use Google Ads was where I made my mistake. I didn't get into detail about learning how to use Google Ads, and so I spent quite a chunk of money that I didn't have to build my channel, you know. <laughs> Mistake number four, no branding. Food reviews are not generating income streams and views are not monetized with good money. Here's my monetization income since February. Well, pretty low, right? Like what I said, with the third mistake, Google Ads is pretty hard to master, but it's definitely a good marketing tool. 
if you know how to use it. But as a personal brand, Tom Choo Choo, it was much harder to generate side income or collaborating with other brands. Like I was only doing food reviews and there were times I, I went to eat at the restaurant for free but spending that much time and effort to make a video out of it did not generate enough income to pay my house rent not to mention living in LA is much harder to just do a full-time job for a free meal and even for the past three years <laughs> I'm actually laughing at myself of laughing out loud to you right now I mean, I would probably earn more if I make my own, for instance, cooking recipe and write a book or so I can sell the book, you know? Or maybe even collaborate to sell a set of knives. I don't know. But as just a foodie reviewer, I, I guess I might have to get to like Nikocado avocado level in order to get a better income stream, right? Mistake number five, burnout. Restaurant reviews, I mean, take too much time to just edit and film and eat. Every YouTuber would know this feeling of burning out because YouTube constantly come up with ways to milk their content creators to work almost forever to stay on the platform, okay? And when you say you post like once a week <laughs> other youtubers would be like oh no you gotta post three four times a week in order to make yourself noticeable so that the youtube knows that you're serious about your craft one of the reason why i stay for three years on youtube was because i mostly post once a week or else i probably would quit after the first year many of the youtubers did that because it's constantly struggle as a YouTuber to come up with newly fresh ideas. I'm lucky that I stayed and worked toward the goal for the past three years, but this burnout, it's inevitable. Okay, so that's five mistakes I made as a YouTuber for the past three years. It has been a great ride. Learn from my mistake and hopefully you're planning ahead on your journey before jumping into a non-stopping void. Okay, so please don't subscribe me because I don't know when I'll be back. And if I come back again, hmm, I'll probably focus on one or two things. Uh, how to become an actor in Hollywood from a casting director point of view. Or just teaching you all the YouTube ranking strategy from what I learned in the digital marketing class. But we'll see. For now, bye bye.